Ik had de kwaad van je voor de kwaad. Sure. 
There's a tree. Oh, there's a tree, a huge tree that he's buried under. Um, yeah, but you just want to show me something at the end. Well, you actually showed me two things. He showed me this boy Ryan um, that I've known the family for many years. He was he was working and he was run over by the, the truck that he was working. He worked on a truck. A truck hit him. He fell off the back of the truck. They, I'm just saying, you're right. He was on the back of a truck. He was like a garbage truck, but it really wasn't a garbage truck. And he fell off, and they, they ran him over. And Ryan would, always, you know, it was always like they didn't know what happened. How could you not know that he was there and you ran him over? And they're like, well, it was an accident. So I don't know. The truck flipped and landed on his truck. The red mic's still not working. The truck flipped and landed on his head. The truck flipped. Yes. And landed on top of his head. He was in the back of the truck. He was protecting two of the girls he was with. It was in the field where you know, there were trees in the field, just far field. So and that might be the tree thing. A tree <laughs> accident, yeah. yeah. And it was, it was an accident. It wasn't. Yeah. It was a mission. No. Right. His friend was driving. It was an accident. Been, right. He had been friends to us since he was two years old. And he survived. He, everybody, the girls, he saved the survived. Girl. His girlfriend, he pushed her out of the way. So that's when we talked about also that other story, the, the boy that was with different friends. Exactly. Where would the burn and guilt lie then? They now, those are that they've been friends since they're two. The survivor's guilt that he carries. It's, it's tremendous. That's absolutely true. Did he get the tattoo in memory of your son? No. There's been six people that of his friends that have gotten tattoos in memory of my son. The boy that was driving the car, you still speak to the family? No. They don't come around. Because your son told me that you're hurt by that and you don't know what to do because you just want to reach out and tell him that you're, that you're sorry. Or to hear something from him. That's absolutely true. So your son is giving you, right now, for me, what you can use to reach out to him. <coughs> that he does not want him to, because I don't, not accusing anyone of anything, but he showed me my simple phobia, he's self-medicating himself. And I am concerned about him. Do you understand that? So, only if you choose to, I don't want this to be a burden for you, if you feel comfortable enough, and you feel that your son validated enough for you that it is his soul that is present <laughs> to give his friend. Is it is that someone like Adam? What was the Amy? Andy. Who's Andy. that? Andy, that's that's his best friend in the tribe. You can tell Andy that he does not want him to carry the survivor's guilt. And that he needs to stop destroying his life because of his passing. He's, and I'm going to say this. He said, my parents don't even blame him. I get, but does that make sense? I don't. You don't blame me, did it? No, you. <laughs>
to, yes, I just want to, just so you understand the whole thing about when he was saying that you don't blame him. It, it is his responsibility, unfortunately, because he was the one driving. Right. He says, but we all make choices. Right. I, I know Michael shows to get in. And I yell at him all the time. But I'm also, yeah. Because I always think, why, why did you get in there? But it was to protect those girls. And he did, because nobody died but him. So, and you don't see any of them? No. He goes, that's the hurtful thing. Because nobody comes. Nobody comes around us. Mm -hmm. None of them. None of them in another, the other person. Right. But that's because of the guilt. Yeah. The guilt. Yeah. They feel and are under responsible and they don't know what to say to you. Not that it's right, not that it's wrong, just they don't know. And I don't know how easy it would be for them to come. And I don't know how easy it would be for me to say anything. Exactly. To. What to see them. And it hurts us because he's never come to say he was sorry. And you, they've known each other for what, 18, like 16 years? 20, 20 something years. Yeah. Since they were two, two, long time. Yeah, long time. He was like a brother to him. And like a son to you. Yeah. yeah. So, you can take any part of the message, just acknowledging that whatever you might do nothing, but if it's something that you feel, I want to see what he has to say, whether through a 